If one was to travel back in time to the early 90s when Belizeans came out in droves to watch boxing, the Bird's Isle was the place to be. This is footage from a fight night back then at an event that was filled with spectators and some heavy hitters in boxing. At ringside, among the trainers, stood one woman who brought immense value to the discipline. I want your jobs up and come back down, okay? Work the body and the head. You understand what I'm telling you? No go to the back of the man, okay? Henrietta Gill is a legendary boxing trainer. She was in her late 50s and aging gracefully when these videos were captured. At the time, Gill was a trainer for the Adolphus and Civic Gyms. She was also employed as an officer in the Her Majesty's Prison where she trained prisoners to box. Her program helped prisoners to better reintegrate themselves into society upon their release. Here she was preparing a group of boxers from the prison for the 1993 Belize Games. We work every day from Monday to Friday and we start at 2 o'clock and we finish the latest at 4. Mm -hmm. um, it's a um, really hard work. We start with our exercise, um, going to shadow boxing, skipping and punching off bag, etc. etc. Um, the boys, they work hard and to be frank, Maria, I am really prepared for 93. It's Gil's boxers are a little different from their competitors in that whether they win, lose or draw, they will sulk or celebrate behind the walls of Her Majesty's prison. I take part in the first Belize game. I won a gold medal and I was quite satisfied. What are you hoping and doing tonight? Uh, well, I'm hoping and going out there and do my best, you know what I'm saying, because that's what everybody expects of me, to do my best. So I'll just go out there and do my best. What is it like actually taking punches in the ring? Uh, just like giving. You know what I'm saying? You take and you give. That's the point, right? Henrietta Gill's passion for developing prisoners into model citizens extended beyond the boxing ring. Here she is captured participating in a talent show organized by prisoners at Her Majesty's prison. In 2022, almost three decades later, News 5 caught up with an 89-year-old Gill in Belize City, still active and very cheerful. Now the first thing you have to train your boxers is to drop in their stance. You know, anytime you tell a boxer drop in the stand, they put their right foot because they write with the right hand. Mm -hmm. But no, and you see the body is turned, so you don't. When you say drop in your stand, it's the left. And this is your position. You can block anything from there. You see? And this is the punch. And when the punch comes, it comes. Woo! That's the punch. <laughs> I feel great. And I wondered, many nights I'll stay and wonder, how did I do so much things? And then I came with one question. I couldn't have done it without the help of God. He gave me the energy. Because at that time, I was holding down two jobs. I was working with Mr. Tethersfield, and um, that's Debbie Gegg's daddy and mom and um, I was working at the prison. In this interview Gill explained that she took up boxing as a trainer in 1981 because her son had a passion for boxing and needed a trainer. My biggest um, channel in, um, in boxing was the American coach that came. Um, he refused to give me the 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 works for me to stay in the workshop you know and he partly tell me come out and go so mr nicholas said to me miss gill if i were you i'd go home and say over my dead body yeah i'm determined when i need something and i know it's good mm -hmm. so and so i stood there he asked question and i put up my hand he ignored me you know and i still say so when break time I think he went to have lunch with Mr. Adolphus at the prison. At that time, I was at the prison. And um, when he came back, he was man enough to stand in front of the class and apologize to me for being rude. 
As Gail reflected on her life and her impact in the sport of boxing, she often used the word blessed to describe it. Gil now lives in the U.S., an unsung hero who never sought fame and fortune. Yesterday I told when I was coming from church, two boys said, hi, Miss Gil. I said, hi, how are you doing? We're fine. Have a good day. I said, you too. So I pass again. Hi, Miss Gil. I said, you know something? I am not worried. If everybody like you all know me here on earth, in heaven, I'm well known. <laughs> you know, that's my, that's my, what you call it? My assurance. That's my assurance. For the Phoenix Five, I am Paul Lopez. <laughs>